Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, I got a voicemail to call this number. Is something wrong with my Social Security? At what time did you receive the call, sir? 11.30, I think it was. Are you sure? Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. I didn't pay that much attention. I wasn't here. All they right. left a voicemail, so I don't know. All right, during the call, did you receive any cash ID on your number? No, I didn't hear anything. No, I just said to call this number. Something wrong with my Social Security card. All right. Okay, then. Okay. Hold on for a second. Let me check out your cash card. Do not cut the call, okay? Okay. All right, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. Can in order to pull out your cash file, first of all, can you verify me your first and last name? First name's Peter. P E T E R. Last name Zinya. Z I N Y A. Peter Zinya. Sorry. Can you repeat your last name? Zinya. Z I N Y A. Do you have your middle name? Middle name is Richard. R. All right, R I P H A R P Richard. All right, can you verify me your zip code number too? Yeah, my zip is one three one one eight. Sorry, can you spell out your spelling? Spell out my what? First name. Peter, P E T E R. And last name. Zinya, Z I N Y A. And Richard, right? Send your name. Richard is my middle R, yeah. And your zip code number is 13118, right? Th that's it. All right. Can you verify me your last four digits of your social security number? 1463. Are you sure? Well, yeah, I'm sure. I've had it since 1966. All right. How old are you? 70. Dad of birth? Pardon me? Can you verify me your date of birth? 316.50. 316? 316.50. All right. How many bank accounts do you have? I mean, bank account? Two. Two? Can you name them? Savings and a checking. No. How many bank accounts do you have? I have a checking. Name of I have the a bank. Savings. Name of the bank. Oh, you didn't ask that. Okay. It's a titty bank. All right. In your checking account at approximate how many dollars do you have i don't understand why i'm telling you this i don't even know what's going on no just tell me i will explain you after you keep out your details oh well my check and i got probably 700 700 and your saving 1500 1500 all right and you said that you, you have two bank accounts, right? Yeah. And TT Bank and one is, another one is? No, no, I have two accounts at one bank. Two accounts, one bank. Right, right. Each one is a separate account. One is checking, which I write checks from. One is savings, where I put my savings in. Okay, do you have your credit card? Do I have a credit Yes, I have a credit card. Is that your zip code number 13118, correct? Yes. All right, then. Wait, hold on for a second. Let me check out your cash file and read out your cash file, okay? Okay. Do not cut the call. I won't. All right, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. The reason why you have been called by our administration is because there is a drug trafficking and money laundering case under your social. You have... The complaint was filled out by the landowner who recites the cities of roulette Texas, so... The landowner? Sorry? What, did you say a landowner Listen. complained against me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would First a, of all, I, I don't understand. Listen, sir, wait, wait. I, I, sir, okay. listen carefully. Okay, I am. These lines, these lines are recorded and monitored by the FBI and the U.S. Marshals, okay? Yeah, I don't care. So, do not... These lines are recorded. Whatever I am speaking, it's been recorded. So, do not spell out anything before I read out your cash file. Well, you I will you, answer said, all, you all said a questions. landowner in Texas complained against me. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, I'm going to explain it out after my huh? word, okay? After my okay, go ahead. So, do not interrupt me while well, I'm reading out Let me know what's going on, will you? Yeah. 
The complaint was filled out by the landowner who resides the cities of Tulet, Texas. All right? Yeah, you already told me that. The complaint was said the emblem which was under the complaint. It was rendered under one individual past it. But as this passes by, there were many individuals residing on the same address. So he was quite quite suspicious about this activity. So he called upon the local jurist department. And, and as it involved the truck, the DA along with the U.S. Marshal. Removed a what? We found a, yeah. Okay. We found a car on the south border of Texas. Oh. And on that car, with the car name was s four series with a semi truck. It was what kind of car? F four series a semi truck. A semi truck. Semi truck. Semi truck. I don't have a semi truck. There, when we tried to get a hold, we found an intoxicated substance like heroin, cocaine, and crystal meth. Urine. And not only that, we have caught a truck. So uh, the DEA, along with the truck enforcement agency they are coming and taking the investigation and the investigation is going on so somebody might be choosing your social to do this and that criminal activity so are you aware about this case i don't even know what you're talking about listen we have got a complaint for bank of america chess bank welfare calls trading date there are certain bank accounts registered under your name so why I am asking your bank accounts and everything is because we have bought the seven credit cards with an approximate limit of $8,000 each. So are you the criminal? Are no. you the real culprit? Am I the real culprit? No. Why would I be the real culprit? I'm in New York. So I don't have so a semi-truck. I don't have a so, semi-truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would I do with a semi-truck? I know very well, sir. Somebody I don't even know how to drive a semi-truck. So I used to drive a tow that's truck. Why, I could drive it through a two-car garage. I'm asking you, that's why I'm asking your bank account and everything in order to differentiate the bank account which we call on the car and yours. Okay. We are going to differentiate among them. Okay. Well, yeah. the bank accounts aren't mine. I only got that all two right, accounts right. at I'm Citibank. Right. Bank. That's all I got. All right. I am going to differentiate. So. Okay. I'm, we are going to suspend your social security what? number. Why can you do that? Yeah. No, we are going to give you a new one. I don't want a new one. I like the old one. Yeah, because the old one is so criminal uh, one. A criminal one. Your old social security number is a criminal activity well, number. Well, just close the other accounts that aren't mine. And just leave my social security no. number alone. That's going to screw up everything. Yeah, we're going to suspend your social security number it's... and give you a new one. Okay, <sighs> sir? I don't want a new one. It's going to screw up everything that I already have my no, social no, no, security no, no. number under. Because somebody's using your social security number and many criminal activities have been found on the mm. south part of Texas. So we are going to catch that criminal and take well, catch him. To the What's that got to do with my social security number getting suspended? I'm 70 years yeah. old. I can't have my social suspended. So I would like to talk to my, let you talk to my senior official. Hang okay? on a minute. Hold on. No, no, no. Wait. Hello? Okay, I'm here. Yeah, I'll let you talk to my senior official. You talk him politely and talk to him politely. Okay? You're going to suspend my social security number and I got to talk politely? We are going to keep you a new one. My I don't want a new a one. Don't you understand? I want my old one. Yeah, if you suspend your social security number, all your bank accounts will be shut down. I, that's what I don't want. Uh, I'm telling you, you have in your PT bank, you have in 701,000. Five hundred. Yes. Solar, right? That's all mine. Yeah. That's all I own. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So you can shut all the other ones down if you want, and just leave mine alone. Yeah, yeah. We are going to give you back that one. But first, first of all, we are going to suspend your social security number. I don't want. You... <laughs> okay. Let me talk to the other guy. Maybe he he can help me. Hello. Hello. Yes, I will transfer this call That's to my what senior I want. officer. Yes. 
You talk him politely, all right? Yeah, I'll be real polite to him. Yeah, okay. Oh, and speak him friendly because this speak is speak him friendly. Yeah, uh, this is safe from your social security number. You have to speak him politely, all right? You're gonna suspend my social security number, anyways. What the hell difference does it make if I'm friendly or not? Yeah. Well, Thanks for holding the one year call. I've been transferred to the Drug Enforcement Administration. They said Officer Xavier Smith. I'm talking to Mr. Peter. Peter Zinya. I didn't catch your name. Uh, this said Officer Xavier Smith, Peter. Xavier, okay. Yeah. Mr. Peter, how are you doing today? Just great. All right, Mr. Peter, I just got your file and just got, got a call from the Social Security Administration. And they were told me about your case of drug trafficking and money laundering. It's not my case. I didn't do it. It's not my case. All right. So I tried to so tell the, the other guy. Is, all right. I don't have so a semi truck. That according to you, you are not the real suspect in this case. Well, no, I'm uh, not. I believe you. I believe you. It can okay, be a matter good. of identity theft because I just checked your past banking details and your social information, which I found it to be clear. All right. I'm clear. So it okay. can be a matter of. Yeah, it can be a matter of identity theft that somebody has stolen your social information. Well, that must be it. That must be it, Xavier. I mean, I didn't do anything. Uh, so what we can do right now is uh, I need to, I will be going to send an officer tomorrow at your home near about like 5 o'clock in the evening. So they will be coming tomorrow at your home. Tomorrow at 5? I, I'm going yeah. out to dinner. Beg your pardon? I got to go out to dinner. All right, so what time are you will be free? Well, gee, about 4 o'clock. All right, so uh, let me fix the meeting at 4 o'clock. Okay. So the officer will be coming at 4 o'clock. Okay. One officer from the sheriff department and one officer from the social security administration. Okay. They will I'm be coming at your mind. home. And, okay. Yeah, they will be providing you an right. SSI form. Okay. You need to fill up that form. You will be getting a copy of your driving license and a passport. A copy of my driver's license. Going... I already got a driving license. Yeah, you need license. To... You don't have a driving license? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I already got one. You, you said yeah. they were going to give me yeah, one. That, no, 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 I'm not telling you to give you. I'm just telling you to get a copy of your driving oh, license. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Okay. So the officer will be providing you an SS5 form, and he will be providing you uh, a new social lumber. Now, once you get okay. a new social lumber, you need to go I to the want, bank. That's what I told the other guy. I don't want a new one. I like my old one. I'm used to it. Everything's under it. Why would I have to get a new one? Now, the reason you are getting, uh, you can't use your old social number is because the people who are doing this all in activities right now, they will be not aware that you are aware about this case, all right? Now, if I go to cancel your social aware, number, if they try to use your social number again, we will be able to find out the real culprit who are doing this all in activities, all right? I guess. I don't know. So, this is the reason we are trying to give you a new social number, and the other thing is, I have the orders to cancel your social number at this right moment, but if right I do it right moment. now, the money you have in your bank account, it will be going to be freeze till the time the case is getting over, and it can how take can a couple of years money? or more than that. How, how can no, you freeze I'm just my money? You. See, we, I'm not telling you that I'm going to freeze that money. I'm just telling you, if I do that, it will be going to be happen. So I will be giving you a resolution option. I don't option. want I will it to be Darling, I will be providing you a resolution option in which we can safeguard your funding, all right? Right now, we need to prove yourself innocent because right now you are on a recorded line. No, you have to prove me guilty. You got it ass backwards. No, no, no. Yeah. I just told you that we need to prove yourself innocent in the no, courthouse. No, you need to prove right me now, guilty, not me prove myself innocent. I right, didn't do so it, so you, you can't want, prove we, me guilty. We have enough evidence. We have enough evidence to prove yourself guilty in the courthouse. So what you want? Do you want me to file a case against you? Well, no, but you can't prove me guilty if I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Darling, we have the proof. It's your social number that has been compromised in the state of Texas. All right. All right. I'm in New York. So He's have, in Texas. What am I supposed to do? Uh, Go catch him? The evidence, we have, the evidence we have, it only points towards you. So in that case, you will be going to be arrested. Arrested? I'm not getting arrested. So what do you want? Years Just you old. Know, I you can't. Want? I'm 70 years old. I'm not getting arrested at 70. So that's what I'm telling I you. I will like be helping you out. I will, darling, I will be helping you out to save God your funds. For that, what you need to do is right now, there is a case of money laundering under your social and under your name. So you cannot keep the money in cash with you, nor you can keep the money in bank. What you can do is you can withdraw the money and keep your money in the government safety bonds. All right, in the a, bonds in a what? will be safe, in a, you. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Keep it in a what? In a, you can keep the money in government safety bonds. Government all right? safety bonds. I don't even know what they yeah. are. Yeah. 
tomorrow when an officer will be coming at your home, he will be verifying the amount and he will be providing you a cashier check of the same amount that we are going to safeguard today. All right? Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that makes sense. So yeah. what, yeah, all right. So what we can do is right now you can go to your bank and you can withdraw your money from the bank and you can put your money into the public voucher and I will be converting that public voucher into the federal bonds, all right? Seems to be a lot of converting going on here. Why don't I just take the money out and keep See, it in my, I just told keep you it in my case, pocket? I can keep it in my pocket. No, I just told you that. I just told you that there is a case of money laundering, so you cannot keep the money in cash with you, nor you can keep the money in your bank account. Well, where's my money going? I don't understand. You're, no, you're just converting your money to a public voucher, and public voucher will be converted into the federal bonds. And it will be keeping with you. Nobody's taking your federal bonds. Well, are you on speed? Geez, slow down a little bit, will you? All right, so listen, I'm just telling you, you need to convert your money into the public voucher, and I will be converting that public voucher through the help of federal courthouse into the federal bounds. Now, the bounds will be staying with you. The officer who will be coming at your home, he will be verifying the bounds that you only have this much of amount with you, and he will be going to provide you a cashier check. Now, once you get a cashier check, you can go to the bank and... Open a new bank account, link your new social with that bank account, and you can put your cash check into that bank account so that you can use your money again. All right. I got it. All right, it. so what you can I do is I will be staying connected with you. All right. First of all, tell me, do you have any debit card? So rather than going to the bank, we can straight away transfer your money to the public voucher. Yeah, I got a debit card. All right, so do one thing. Like, do you know any nearby public convenience store to you? A public Where you can convenience go and buy store. No, yeah. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what the hell right. it is. How am I going to know what it is? All right. All right, don't worry. Let me look for you. So where you can go and look for a public voucher, all right? Okay. So stay on the line. Make okay. sure you don't dismiss the All right, the where am I going? And okay, one I'm thing ready. More. Go. Go. And one thing more. Make sure you do not disclose this matter with any third person. Hey, you have to slow down. I'm 70 years old. I can't even follow what the hell you're saying here. I'm, I'm really sorry for that. I said that right now you cannot, under the Privacy Act 1947, you cannot disclose this matter with any third person. Because right now your safety is my first priority, and I don't want your gay life to be get in danger. How's my right? life going to be because in danger? The, because the people who are doing the stolen activities, right now they will be not aware about the thing. I'll that punch you them are in the nose. The I don't care. I'm not afraid of them. No. You are not afraid, but it's my duty to... I'll make you safe, all right? How are you going to make me safe over the phone? I got to punch him in the nose anyways. Uh, no, 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 it's not like that. It's not a single person. It, it can be a people. It, is, it, it can be a group of people. So you need A to group? Be I don't care. I got a baseball bat, too. I'll swing right, that, I'll I'll swing that thing. bat so hard, they won't even know what hit them. All right, do one thing. Do you know any nearby CVS pharmacy to you? CVS, yeah, yeah, there's one over on uh, Sesame Street. All right, so like how this destination is from you? Sesame Street, so about two miles away. All right, so you can go over there? Go over there and do what? What am I going to do when I get there? You need, you need Why to go am to I going there? Why am I going there? Why am I going because, there? Because, uh, listen to me, you are going there to convert your money into the public voucher, all right? You need to buy the public voucher from the CV store. And I will be converting that public voucher into the federal bond. Where do so I get the very safely. Where do I get these public you vouchers? At the, at the pharmacy? From, yes, from the CVS pharmacy. I go to the pharmacy and I ask the pharmacist for this common. You need to tell them that I yeah. You need to tell them that I need. A, yes, you need to tell them that I need four public voucher for five hundred denominations. And they're going to know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> No, you need, uh, don't tell them that uh, what you are dealing with because right well, then now... How are they going to know what I want? Okay. How are they going to know what I want? You just need to, let me explain to you what oh, you need boy. to tell. You need to tell them that I need public voucher. All right? They will. They know what kind of public voucher it is. I will be explaining you. All right? They, so know, what, about they that. know what a public voucher is. Okay. That's all I need to yes, know. Yes, they know. Okay. Yes, yes, they know what the public voucher is. Oh, that's good. I will be that's staying great. connected with you. First of all, okay. get ready. Once you're inside get your ready. car, I am just ready. let me know. All right, once you're inside your car, just let me know because we need to stay connected. Okay. And make sure you do not disconnect the call. If we got disconnected, I will be calling you again, all right? Okay. Once you're inside your car, just let me know. Okay.
Okay, I'm in my car. Now what? All right, can you blow the horn of your car? Blow the horn? For security concerns? Yes. All right, now you need to head towards the previous... All right, all right, that's okay. Wow. I got it. Okay, that's enough? Okay. All right. Now, all right, now uh, what? what you need to do is you need to head towards the CBS store. Once you reach at a parking lot, just let me know. I will be staying connected with you. Okay. Because once you reach over there, I, I will be explaining you what kind of public posture you need to get over there. Okay. All right? All right, I got to go. All right. So I will be staying connected with you. Put okay, your phone goodbye. on speaker mode. Okay, on uh, okay, seat. okay. I got to go. Yes. Make sure you do not disconnect. My car won't start. You there? Hello? Yes, I'm. Yes, yes, sir. I'm my, here. My car won't start. Oh, uh, just try it once again. Huh? What? Why you are blowing the horn again? You and told again. me to blow it. Uh huh. Just told you to at one time you are uh -huh. blowing it again and again. I like blowing it. it. Sounds good. But the car won't start. That's my problem. Uh -huh. I think it's flooded. So what, how you need to go? You can uh, take a taxi. Take a taxi? We don't even have taxis here. I'm on you the middle of nowhere. Uber. I'm on the middle of nowhere. There ain't no taxis. Oh, uh, you can book an Uber for you. Book an Uber? I'm not booking no yes. Uber. I don't even know how to do it. All right. Uh, I'll just try to get away to your car because I only have one hour. And after that, I need to cancel your social number. And the money you have in your bank account is going to be free. Freaking cat in here! Get out! I don't know what to do. You let me know because I need to take. Uh, I need to go ahead. I need to follow my duties and regulations. So just let me know because I only have one hour. You only got one hour to do what? To suspend your social. After that, the money will be going to be freezed. It's not going to be freezed. It will be going to be it's freezing. It's not going to be freezed, to... I told you. No way am you freezing my money. I said if you're not able I to said you're not going to freeze my fucking I money. Said, I said you're not going to freeze said, my fucking money. I said you're not going to freeze my fucking money. I said that if you are not able to safeguard your funds, in that case, it will be going to be freeze. I said you're not freezing my fucking money. I'm repeating myself again. If you're not I'm able repeating to myself. I said the horn that if works. you're not able, huh? if you're not able to safeguard your funds today, it will be going to be freezed. In it's one not hour, being freezed. It. It's not being freezed. I don't give a shit what in you one, say. It's not being freezed. You bench hour, road. You need to, in one hour, you need to go to the CVS store. How am I going to get there? The car won't start. What? Hello? Yes, sir. Are you there? Yeah, I thought you said something. Huh? All right, so I'm going to freeze your... I'm going no, to you're not freezing my number. fucking money. I'll tell you that right I'm now. Good. I'll hit you I, with a I'm... fucking baseball bat. How about that, you stupid scamming mm -hmm. fucker? You uh, scamming you bastard. You scamming Lloyd, bastard. Lloyd you, you Ben Colody. You Ben Colody. You goat fucking bastard. <laughs> stupid fucker. Yes, I can get it. What did they say? What? <laughs>